Hello everyone, Mega here today with the first episode ever of Mega Talks. I know the title is nothing fancy, but that's basically what this series will be about. Me talking about concepts, things, stuff, mostly about video games. And we start off right away with one that will hit pretty close to home to most For Honor players. Spamming. That's right, that dreaded spamming opponent who just beat us and makes us so angry and frustrated and we channel then this frustration through our fingers and type all sort of obscenities and vulgar comments, usually on YouTube or Reddit. But let's take a little step back and talk first about what spamming actually means in the context, mind you, of fighting games. So spamming, in a, again, fighting game context, means using the same move over and over again, many times throughout a match, even, perhaps, in a row. I've been a Warden main for more than two years now, so I think I know something about spamming. Yeah, okay, but some of you might be thinking, maybe those of you still unfamiliar with fighting games, or the more reasonable of you guys might be thinking, well, what's the deal with spamming? Why is it bad? What's the problem? Why do people get so over it? Well, before answering that, we need to take yet another little step back and talk about the concept, the design of fighting games themselves. Fighting games, by design, by definition, lead to a more competitive and upfront personal experience against our opponents, which inevitably leads to some sort of frustration when we actually face defeat. Why is that, you might ask? That's going to be a longer talk for a different episode, but basically it boils down to the fact that it's just us. Our losses are on us, not our team. So, when you lose against an opponent, you want to shift the fault of your loss on them, not on you. It's not my fault. They weren't better than me. There is something else at work. Might go from cheating, of course, that's uh, improbable to say the least, but they were cheating, they're using an OP hero, or they're spamming the same OP move over and over. Now, why is blaming spamming so common? Simple answer. During a match you're focused and you see your opponent using the same move over and over. So perhaps you see the Warden using shoulder bash all the time. It hits you, you remember about that because it's a good move. It's working and it's breaking your defense, chipping your down your HP, whatever. The opponent, in reality, might actually be using a diverse moveset beside the shoulder bash. I don't know. Light attacks, we're still talking about For Honor as an example, but this applies to any fighting games. So, for an example, light attacks, zone attack, heavies, guard breaks, I don't know. But you still perceive it as if they're spamming that move, or let's say you might perceive it that way. Because that move is working, that move is strong, so every time it hits you, it's memorable in a way, you remember about it. And this leads to frustration, it's because of that move that I lost. That move is OP, that move is broken, Warden shouldn't be able to spam shoulder bash like that. Among the mountain of thousands of angry comments about spamming, we need to draw a line to divide in two categories. People who complain about spamming because they don't have a deep enough knowledge of the game, so they don't actually know mechanically how to counter that spamming, let's say. And people who have a deep enough knowledge of the game, they understand the game fundamentals and its mechanics, but still complain about opponent spamming attacks. And that happens. Both people complain. Everyone complains about spamming, actually. In the first case, I'm sorry to borrow the obnoxious phrase, but it boils down to a big case of get good. If you've gotten the game recently, or maybe you've even played for years, but still don't really understand game mechanics and go and complain about people spamming heavy feints, I I've seen that happen, people spamming heavy feints or people spamming guard breaks, well then, I'm sorry, you need to take a step back and realize that it might be on you. This actually leads to another topic where people like this are usually the louder ones, so they complain, other people join in into the circle jerking on Reddit or YouTube comments, they all complain, everyone complains, they get validation, yeah, the character is OP, I knew, everyone agrees with me, so we're all right. And then the loud people get validation and it's pretty bad. But yeah, maybe another time we'll talk about this. Regardless, a little piece of advice. When you go about sharing these kind of opinions, these kind of rants, let's say, don't be a raged, don't be negative, don't go like the Volins have rained for honor, fuck the Volins, they're all 
horrible and OP and broken make For Honor great again, was that's going to lead to the circle jerking we were talking about. Instead, if you really care about the game and you want to improve, go in a more positive manner, ask for advice. Yo guys, um, Shaolin kicks my ass. That's okay, it can happen. How do you guys deal with Shaolin? And one guy might go and I mean, maybe there is still someone popping up and yeah, of course, kicks your ass, 400 milliseconds slides, that's OP, Shaolin is OP, of course, of course, and they circle jerk there, but in general, this kind of threads start more positive discussions, so one guy might pop in and be like, hey, um, keep your guard top, for example, cause it's 400 millisecond light, only comes from the top and it's unreactable. Or be careful not to dodge all the time when he's in cheese stands, cause he might go for the undodgeable levies. But that's it for the inexperienced people, and let's now talk about experienced people who understand the game and still complain about spam. As a little note that I should have made in the beginning, this is still a generalization of course. I don't expect every people to fall in either the first or second category of people I'm describing. This kind of people still perceive spamming as something bad, they still dislike it, but for different reasons. They don't feel it's unfair. They understand the game, they understand that a character, an opponent, will choose the optimal move under clever circumstances and they won't hold back because spamming is bad, but more on this later. And to be honest, in a For Honor context, I usually agree with these people. For example, I find a gladiator spamming zone attack extremely dull and boring and bad for the game overall. Why is that? Zone attack is an extremely on gladiator, extremely powerful move, probably his best move still, so of course they're gonna use it a lot. The rest of their kit is pretty underwhelming, so they're sort of show horn into using it a lot. Do I feel like it's unfair? In some matchup it might be too powerful, but that's not really up to me to share, but I still feel like it's bad for the game. It's boring for the gladiator player, it's boring for the opponent, it's no fun, not interactive, it's just bad. But remember, regardless of which of these two categories you feel like you're into, or maybe not at all, anyway, you don't blame your opponent. It's not their fault if the game, again, show horns you leads you into spamming that move, into using that move more than the rest of your kit, it's the game that has a flow. The goal of the game is of course to beat your opponent, and if the best move to beat your opponent is your zone attack, melee bash, unblockable soft feint, whatever, then why would you use something else that is not as effective, or most of the time in For Honor case, that out useless? This is the sort of absurd thinking that I've been reading about, people going like, I don't use shoulder bash because shoulder bash is cheap and overpowered, so I play a bad warden and I enjoy doing so myself and that's fine if you want to do this, I mean of course you can, but don't get angry when your opponent actually uses the warden how it's supposed to be used to its full potential. I understand people don't really like sports analogies when it comes to these things, but I like them because it's a competitive environment in both cases, dual and in this case swimming. But you can feel free to just break it apart as usual and say it's a useless analogy because of these reason, reason, reasons in the comment section. So, swimming competition. You feel like using legs is bad and OP, so you just use your hands. Nope. And of course, the other guy wins, unless you are extremely more skilled than them, then I guess you feel some sort of satisfaction. The other guy wins, and what do you do? Do you blame the other guy for using his legs like he's supposed to in a swimming competition? Or... Do you maybe blame yourself for your stubbornness of some sort? Eh? What I'm saying is that you cannot blame others for your self-perceived way on how the game should be played, based on your own particular reasons. It's completely idiotic and arrogant to blame an opponent for playing how the game actually allows him to play. Like. If you dislike Conqueror Shield Bash spam so much that it makes your blood boil and makes you type all sort of, again, vulgarities on social media, whatever, then how can you blame their opponent and not yourself? Maybe it's you, maybe the game is not for you. If it makes you so angry, then maybe consider changing game. Or, which I suggest more likely, change your approach to the game and understand what I'm saying in this video. But at the same time, I'm absolutely not saying your voice shouldn't be heard. I dislike shield bash spam myself. I don't like how Conqueror's only viable offense is a variable timing shield bash. That's it. That's all he has. I don't like it. It's bad. It's boring. Again, like 
uh, gladiators don't attack, but blame it on the game, not on the player, and let your voice be heard in a polite, non-violent, non-vulgar, non-raging way. Mind you, of course there is exceptions, if you've seen my uh, Mega Get Salty video, it's pretty old now, back when Shugoki could basically, all the time, spam his only charge, knock you down, unpunishable, get an heavy. You should just go watch that video, it's pretty fun for you, maybe it wasn't so fun for me. But on to the second part of this video. Why spam complaints are so common in the For Honor fighting game community compared to other fighting game communities. They're still there, they're everywhere, but they're much more prevalent in For Honor. So why is that? There is two reasons, mostly. First, For Honor was the first fighting game experience for a huge majority of its players. For Honor droned in a huge part of its demographic because of its stunning visuals, the game looks amazing, and the concept. I mean, knight, fighting samurais, fighting vikings? I'm in. But the problem with this is that all of these people new to fighting games don't have an understanding of spamming, let's say, or more broadly, the mechanics and intricacies do you even say that into of fighting games? But more on that on another episode, let's now talk about the second reason, the biggest reason, the elephant in the room, on why For Honor spam complaints are so common compared to other fighting games, but in general are so widespread. You just go on Reddit, you can see for yourself. For the sake of this argument, I'm going to take a look at two other fighting games, but first, let's take a look at the Warden in For Honor. What does his moveset look like? Top light. Chain top light, side light, chain side light, double side light, side heavy, chain side heavy, top heavy, chain top heavy, guard break, throw, valiant breakthrough, crushing counter strike, rushing slash, zone attack, shoulder bash, charged shoulder bash, fainted shoulder bash. So yeah, that's Warden's moveset, the one you all know and love, or maybe don't love. But why is it bad? What's the problem with it? Three. I can identify three big problems. First, size, length, variety, if you will. Warden moveset, it's pretty short for a fighting game character, and this applies to most characters in For Honor, mind you. That's not necessarily something that kills the character, but of course it doesn't lead to much variety. For comparison, let's take a look at Nightmare's moveset from Soul Calibur 6. Blake Spreader, Quick Chain Roll Buster, Quick Backspin Slash, Quick Backspin Slash Fast, Quick Neck Buster, Quick Neck Buster Fast, Bloodstorm, Dark Vengeance, Mail Crusher, Course Shadow, Jade Slicer, Shadow Slicer, Shadow Slicer Hold, Jade Crusher, Backblade, Maelstrom, Shadow Splitter, Double Avenger, Death Smash, Shadow Buster, Dark Souls Impact. Triple Headbutt, Shadow Buster, Soul Taker, Upper Claw, Jade Strike, Adamantine Cranker, Dark Rush Kick, Dark Low Kick, Hair Trample Hold, Sinew Crusher, Double Death Strike, Midnight Launcher into Rabbi Heimstead, Soul Wave, Soul Smasher, Soul Blades, Right Slasher, Death Rage, Plague Storm, Heather Splitter, Rook Splitter, Darkness Impact, Shadow Breaker, Shoulder Rash, Lolly Jade Impact, Dropkick, Crimson Vortex, Sliding, Shoulder Claw Troll, Soul Devour, Doom's Invitation, Unholy Terror, Witch Hunt, Flapjack, Overtoss, Grimstride, Grimfang, Evil Eye, Grim Launcher, Grim Riser Kick, Leg Hacker, Death Orb Charge, Death Lifting Kick, Terror Sweeper, Terror Vortex, The Kick Crush, Soul Biter, Phantom Star, Phantom Splitter, School Chopper, Night Front Kick, Dark Reconquista Triumph, Soul Charge, Death Lord's Impalement, Malicious Lord Destruction, Haunted Lord's Torment, Death Lord's Agony, Grim Lord's Desolation, Grim Lord's How to Defe, how do you pronounce this? Sable Destruction, Burt Annihilation, Ghoul's Obliteration, Phantom Lord's Gamadia, Purple Devastation. 
just slightly longer, right? <laughs> of course, a longer moveset leads to a much more varied playstyle, since you have so many more moves to pick from. But that's not it, shorter moveset, as I mentioned, can work. The second big glaring issue is Shoulder Bash being so much stronger than the rest of his kit. Shoulder Bash completely overshadows the rest of Warden's kit. Why would you use anything else when Shoulder Bash is so good? You can either say and claim that Shoulder Bash is OP or that the rest of his kit is underwhelming. I usually lean on the second part, but regardless, anything that goes your way. Again, for comparison, let's take a look at Ike's moveset from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Jab, forward tilt, down tilt, up tilt, forward smash, down smash, up smash, dash attack, near, pair, dare, bear, up pair, neutral B, side B, up B, down B, grab, pummel, up throw, down throw, forward throw, back throw. And that's Ike's moveset, it's not super long, still obviously longer than Warden, and it's not as varied of course as Nightmares from Soul Calibur, but it still works. And why is that? Because most of the moves are good, most of them have their defined use, defined niche sometimes, they're good, you can use them and not feel like you're jimping yourself using those options. Of course, there is still a move that is very good, Nair in Ike's case, but the rest of his kit is not completely overshadowed by it. And now just wait for Ike, just pumps, Nair comments, lulz, and please if you do refer back to the beginning of this video. So that's the two big reasons on why spamming is so prevalent in For Honor. First, moveset variety, as we said, movesets are pretty small, list themselves to the same moves being used over and over, and second, in the little moveset variety, the power balance of the moves is completely whack. One move is extremely powerful, one or two moves extremely powerful, the rest is extremely underwhelming. As I said, there is a third reason on why I think Froner's combat is flawed. This has nothing to do with spam actually, but it's a big component of other fighting games, and that is movement. Movement is super interesting, movement options are amazing, fun, interesting to watch, interesting to use, and fun to play around. It's, it's really super good, and For Honor, sadly, has none of this. Again, I can't stress enough how much movement is king and how much it makes a fighting game more interesting and fun, instead of just having them boil down to throw attacks and block. Alright, that's it for this first episode of Mega Talks. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it interesting and useful. If you did, of course, please do leave a like and more importantly a comment for two reasons. First, because I really love comments, it's probably the best part of being a YouTuber, reading all of your comments, even the ones that are completely negative, they're still fun, like Warden is OP, fucking Warden, OP, Shoulder Bash, 
go remove Warden from the game. That's funny. I like it. I, I show my friends this kind of commentary. Like, look at this guy. <laughs> or Twitter, of course. I always post um, funny comments like that on Twitter. I'm gonna make a montage of those eventually as well. And secondly, because the more comments a video has, the more likely it is to pop out in people's suggested videos. You probably know about this already, but I really want this video to be seen by a lot of people, since I see all of these comments as mentioned in the beginning. So if you liked it, please, beside a comment, do share this video with your friends, with people that you think might like it. That's it for me for now. Again, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you all next time, and I hope you have a good day.